today? Today, we are celebrating the birthday of our church. Today, we celebrate Pentecost, which took place 50 days after Easter, the resurrection of Christ. On the day of Pentecost, we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit to the disciples. The Holy Spirit is God, just like God the Father and Jesus Christ. That is why we say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is one of the three persons of the Holy Trinity. The Holy Spirit, on the day of Pentecost, came down to the disciples in the form of tongues of fire above each of their heads. The disciples, who were afraid before, now became courageous. They were so strengthened that they were able to spread the gospel of Christ all over the world. This way, they became founders of the church. They were enlightened by the Holy Spirit. They began to speak in different languages so everyone could understand their message. On the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit led 3,000 people to believe in Christ. In order to help us understand how important the Holy Spirit is and what the Holy Spirit can do, I will describe a story found in the Holy Bible from a book called The Acts of the Apostles. This story is about St. Peter and a man called Cornelius. Cornelius was in charge of 100 soldiers in the Roman army. He was not a Jew, but he was a devout and God-fearing man, and he gave generously to those in need and prayed to God regularly. God sent Peter to teach Cornelius about Jesus and to put him on the path of salvation. Peter went to a town called Joppa, which is in modern-day Lebanon. He went to his room at lunchtime to have a rest and lie down until it was time for eating. Suddenly, he saw a strange dream. He saw heaven opened and a big drum coming down from the sky. It contained all kinds of animals, reptiles and birds. Peter then heard God saying, Get up, Peter. Kill one of these animals and eat. Peter replied, Surely not, Lord. I cannot eat these animals because they are unclean. This was because certain animals were forbidden from being eaten under the law of Moses. The big drum went back into the sky, but again came down again, and the same voices said to Peter, the same words. This happened three times over and the dream ended. After a while, the Holy Spirit told Peter, Three men are at the door of your house and want to see you. They are not Jews, but Gentiles. Do not ignore them, but go with them wherever they tell you. Peter opened his door and saw three men standing outside. Peter asked them, What do you want? Why are you here? They replied, Our master, Centurion Cornelius, is a noble man who gives a lot to charity. He believes in God 
and an angel told him to invite you to his house. He wants to hear what you have to say and to lead him to salvation. Peter then followed the servants of Cornelius to Caesarea, where Cornelius lived. Cornelius was expecting Peter and had called together his relatives and friends. As Peter entered the house, Cornelius met him and fell at his feet in reverence. But Peter made him get up and said, Stand up, for I am only a man myself. Then Peter explained the life and teaching of Jesus and how he lived with him for three years. At one point, Peter stopped talking. The Holy Spirit then came down to everyone in the house. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and started praising God. They started speaking in languages that they had not known before. All the Jews who were with Peter were amazed that the Holy Spirit came upon the non-Jews who believed in God. Then Peter stated that they all be baptized in the name of the Lord. From this story, we can see that the gifts of the Holy Spirit are for everyone. Everyone is welcome. In the Bible, it teaches us that the fruits of the Holy Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and self-control. We receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit with chrismation at our baptism. The Holy Spirit stays with us unless our sins drive the Holy Spirit away. It is therefore very important that we repent for our sins in order to keep the Holy Spirit with us. We pray every day to the Holy Spirit when we say, Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, present everywhere and filling all things, the treasury of good and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, gracious one. This prayer shows that the Holy Spirit is our King. The Holy Spirit gives us comfort and guides us to the truth. The Holy Spirit is always with us, is the giver of everything good and of life itself. We ask that the Holy Spirit come into our hearts and cleanse us from every sin and to lead us to salvation. Ronya Bala, everyone. May the Holy Spirit always be with us to guide us and protect us. Have a great week.